Hi, this is Marty McCulloch. This is a brief overview of the cases that we're going to be doing in the learning lab for aortic regurgitation at Echo Florida 2012. So when you open up the software, which is the software is Digisonics, this is the first screen that you're going to see. This is what we like to call the work list. So if you want to open up the work list, you would highlight this button right up here and you would get this screen, which is the work list. And under the work list, you'll see patient name and then under patient name, you'll see the different cases that we're going to be reviewing or the different types of cases that we're going to be reviewing in the learning lab. For aortic regurgitation, we have two cases, 4.1 and 4.2. And to open up the case, you're simply going to go under the case that you want and double click. When you double click, it's going to launch the study and it's going to skip over the report and go directly to the images. And you'll see the images right here. The main image in the center is the image that you'll do all your calculations on. And to um, sort of scroll through the image, you have these icons on the bottom here that will control the semi loop. You have play, which will play. You can stop it. If you wanted to go to the next thumbnail or the previous thumbnail, you would click these buttons right here. If you wanted to enlarge this screen for the entirety of the screen, you could do that as well. Previews aren't loaded, so we don't have to worry about that. If you want to increase the brightness or the contrast of the image, you can simply do this. And then um, if you want to scroll through the, uh, uh, the semi loop frame by frame, you can use these buttons right here. Okay. Now, notice along the uh, right-hand side here, you have thumbnails. You can scroll back and forward between the thumbnails using the bottom uh, controls here. So we can scroll through. We can uh, choose an image with color and look at the aortic regurgitation. This, the first case, the 4.1 case, is a mild regurgitation, mild AI, and you'll notice there's a little bit of MR as well. We can look at that in the short axis. Just to give you an idea, notice um, don't necessarily see very much aortic insufficiency there. And we can scroll through to the uh, long axis, look at the color Doppler there. Uh, not very much AI. We can also do CW. Notice there is a little bit of AI noted on the CW. And then we can go to the five chamber. Um, and you'll notice a little bit more AI here. Okay. So this is the first case, and to get out of this case, we are going to go to Close Patient. And we'll see the work list again. And then on the work list, we're going to choose 4.2. This is a little bit greater degree of aortic insufficiency. Note that it's going to go directly to the images. And we are going to go to the color in the peristone long axis. Okay, and for measurements, you'll notice on the top here we have work list. That'll take you back to the front page of the work list. The closed patient closes patient out. Edit refers to if you wanted to alter or edit the demographics of the patient. Calcs um, is the icon that you want to use if you want to make a measurement. Edit is what you want to use if you've done the calculations and the, the measurements have gone to the report and you want to edit those measurements that are already in the report. Report will take you directly to the report, and then of course image icons will take you back to the images. Okay, so if you um, are in your screen and you wanted to measure, say, the vena contracta of the AI, we can simply go to the frame that you prefer. You could do one of two things. You can either go to calcs, and when you click on calcs, you'll get this um, pop-up screen right here. Notice on the top you'll have a parasol long axis, short axis, four chamber. These are if you wanted to do measurements in a protocol fashion. However, for the learning lab, I would prefer, it's probably recommended to do just specific measurements. And so you want to use these icons right here, the 2D, the Doppler, the M-mode, and the diastology. So this is a 2D measurement. We're going to click 2D. It's going to be the um, aortic valve, or you could actually label it something else, um, AI. And it's going to be a dimension, right, the vena contracta. So we'll do that. There we go. And then you get the dimension of the vena contracta right there. And let's see. Okay, so another thing that you could do if you wanted to is you could simply right-click on the image, and it'll give you a click calc. So we can right-click, go to click calcs, 
and do a 2D measurement again here, and that'll give you the vena contractor. Okay, so next we'll go to some Doppler. Here is aortic insufficiency with Doppler. Um, and then you can choose which one you actually prefer. We can try and measure this. We're going to go to calcs, and then again we're going to go to Doppler, and we're going to go to um, aortic valve. This is going to be the pressure half time right here. If you do the pressure half time here, it's going to give you the valve area using the pressure half time, which is typically used for the mitral valve. So we'll do pressure half time here. It's going to tell you what to do on the left hand side here. It says trace Doppler curve, then right click the mouse button. So we are going to trace this. And it's not the greatest Doppler, I'm just giving you an idea of the measurements. And then it's going to say touch the E point, which is not necessarily the E, and then the second point for the slope, and it gives you the pressure half time right here on the left hand side. And once you hit um, next, you can hit, click next here, or you can simply click the right mouse button, that's what RMB is, or right click, same, same difference. Then what we can do is we can look for a better spectral Doppler for aortic insufficiency. And here's a good one right here. And we can sort of uh, remeasure if we wanted to. Simply go Doppler, we're going to go aortic valve, and we're going to do pressure half time. Okay? So again, it's going to tell you on the left hand side here, we're going to measure up, down, and then when you're done, you can right click. Then it's going to ask you to measure the slope. Simply do that, and it'll give you the pressure half time here. Then if you wanted to see your results, you can go to uh, report. Uh, simply click on the report, and you'll see the measurements that you've just recently done. If you want to edit these measurements or see how many that are done and actually averaged, we can go to the pressure half time. And if you double click, it'll show you all the different measurements. So for the aortic valve, uh, flow that we actually trace the TVI. You have three different measurements. These are the three different, uh, actually four different measurements. And if you wanted to eliminate one, like we didn't like number three, we can simply click on it and hit delete. And then of course here you get your average max and min. Okay. So that's a quick tutorial of the aortic regurgitation cases. Look forward to seeing everybody in Echo Florida. Thank you very much.